What's up geeks and welcome back to IGV and in today's video we will gonna talk about how to fix an iPhone which keeps restarting itself. This is a super common problem and can be caused by many things either bugs present in software, outdated apps or even hardware problems. So my suggestion would be fast your seat belts because we will gonna talk about each and everything. But before we start with solution, let's go over with two situations you might be facing. First, your iPhone might be restarting itself, but it is still usable between restart. Second, your iPhone is useless and you cannot use it because it is stuck in boot loop. So let's say if you are in situation number one, there are a few things you can try. First, that you update your iPhone to the latest iOS version present because outdated software can definitely cause restarting issue. Second, you can always delete any faulty app present on your iPhone and let's see how you can find that faulty app. So first you need to go into the settings and of course scroll down and go into privacy and security. Again scroll down and select analytics and improvement analytics data and over here you will see many files present and most of them are just uh, useless to us but what is important is such files for example over here you can see asphalt9.cpu asphalt9.cpu so basically we have two files which says that asphalt9 has some issue because of which i was facing some problem so you need to find these type of files and see which app is causing error on your iphone so if you have an app which has this analytics report so simply all you need to do is just search for that app uh, and uh, all you need to do is just delete it and if it doesn't work try updating or uninstalling outdated apps on your iphone outdated apps can also lead to performance degradation and crashes of the system so as you can see there are 47 outdated apps all you need to do is just update all another thing to try is freeing up storage space on your iphone a lack of storage can cause your iphone to act strangely so simply go into the settings general and iphone storage and look for all the apps which are taking a lot of space on your iphone and delete them simply do it with all the photos and videos present on it if you've tried all of these things on your iphone and it is still restarting again and again i would recommend that you can try resetting all of your settings to factory defaults and to do that you need to go into the settings scroll down tap on general again scroll down select transfer reset iphone erase all content and settings continue erase iphone input your password and that's it this will erase all your personalized settings and in fact data present on your iPhone but it can help to fix software glitches. Alright, now let's talk about your iPhone is stuck in restarting boot loop and it is unusable. So first thing which you can do is force restart and I know my iPhone is still working but these steps will work for your iPhone as well. So simply press volume up button, down button and press and hold power button for approximately 10 seconds and release the power button as soon as you see Apple logo on the screen. This will reboot your iPhone and will fix some minor software glitches. And if it doesn't work, you can always remove and reinsert your SIM card. Sometimes a connection issue with your carrier can cause your iPhone to get stuck in the boot loop. So remove the SIM tray and just put it back. That's it. As for the last resort, I would recommend to factory restore your iPhone and mind you, this step will delete everything. I literally mean everything from your iPhone and bring it back to the original state. To do this, you need to have a Mac or a PC. Without it, this step is not possible. Connect your iPhone to the Mac, open Finder and in locations, you will see the iPhone you have just connected, select it and simply select restore iPhone and just follow the on-screen process and your iPhone will be restored to its old glory. And lastly, if nothing works for you, then my friend, your iPhone has a hardware problem which needs to be checked ASAP. You need to take your iPhone to the officials of Apple or any 
official third party service center and they might fix it for you that's it guys and i hope i've helped you if i did make sure you press the like button on this video and of course subscribe to igb for more such content like this and if you are still facing any problem regarding ios iphone mac anything just comment down there and you can always go to app store and download igb app and enjoy everything apple content and amazing wallpapers and on this note this is me samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then tata see ya bye bye and stay connected boys